Hello and welcome to today's episode of the Afrocentrist Podcast and this segment, The Woman, Her Story, Her Impact, where I get to speak to women from across the world, sharing their stories and how they are currently impacting their world. And today on the show, I have a beautiful woman from India uh, who has a very compelling story and we're going to hear all about it in this episode. But before we go in, if this is your first time on the Afrocentrist Podcast here on YouTube, then I want you to kick on the subscribe button right now turn on notifications so that you're alerted every time a new content drops and if you're listening to us maybe on Spotify Apple podcast Google podcast Amazon music wherever you're listening to your podcast from then you should you know look for our channel the Afrocentrist podcast and give us a review if you can on at least like Google podcast I think you can on Apple podcast you can on Spotify you can give us a rating, right? And you can drop us a message as well. If you have a question for us, you can also send us an email to theafrocentrist at gmail.com. But also remember that you can support the work that we do here so that we're able to continuously bring you amazing content. And you can do that by clicking on the link that is attached to this episode where you see buymeacoffee.theafrocentrist. Here, you're able to support the work that we do by buying us a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee costs just $5. And you can buy us more than one, okay? So if you can, buy us more than one cup of coffee, but one cup is also enough just to support the work that we do here. Now to the episode of the day. This is the time where you grab your cup of tea, your cup of coffee, or your bottle of water as we dive into the story of Lobna. Lobna is from India and she has been through a lot, but she is rising above the challenges that she's been through and she's impacting her world by cooking being a chef and helping other women to learn how to cook so she has this amazing book that she just you know um, released or published it's a cookbook and we're going to hear all about that in a minute do not go anywhere and i'll be right back with my guest i am a woman phenomenally phenomenal woman that's me maya angelo welcome to this segment of the afrocentrist podcast the woman, her story, and her impact, where I get to speak to women from across the globe, sharing their stories and how they are impacting their world. Coming to you every Wednesday, 4 p.m. GST. Of course, with your favorite show host, The Energetic EJ. So make it a date with me every Wednesday. The Afrocentrist Podcast, proudly African. Hi, Lobna. Hi. How are you today? I'm very well. How are you? I am good. Thank you for availing yourself to be here Thank today. Thank you. Thank you for asking me to share my story with you. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. So before you know we share your story, I'd just like to ha ask you a trivia question just so that you relax. We're having a conversation okay. here, okay? Yeah. It's just me and you, right? Forget about the cameras, right? It's just you and I. Nobody else is here. <laughs> so let me ask you, what is your favorite thing to do in the world? I think this is a simple answer, but yes, let me give that to you. Uh, from 18 years to 19 years, so I've just lived, uh, slept, um, breathed, cooking so yes cooking but i do also love animals oh i love nature so yes mm. what's your favorite dish i love food <laughs> it's vast i love all the cuisines so oh interesting yes yeah, so but do I you have a particular um, cuisine that you you make or that you enjoy so is it like intercontinental or is it indian cuisine or is it yeah um i love trying a lot of dishes because okay. being in the way you love to you an experiment and you can get so it's lovely mm. but yes being an indian and uh, you know away from the country you realize the importance of it you miss home yes, food yes and that's what it is all about my mm. book is all about because there was nobody to teach me mm. there was nobody to tell me it's easier to get uh, you know, the patent dishes of all the countries, mm -hmm. but the home food is home food. Mm, I see. Yeah, I can I can really relate to you all. What, what you get in restaurants is not is always outside food. Yeah, it can't be compared to yes. what is homemade. But what, what you've been eating, that's what you miss. 
So, yes. Hmm. Okay, so, fantastic. Now we're going to dive into your story. Okay. Um, I remember, you know, when I first met you at, a, at an event, a networking event, and you shared your story, yes. and that was so touching. So I want you to share that story with my audience. How did you... Just tell us about your story. What's your story? Um, I've been married for 19 years now. Had an abusive one all through it, but... Um, just lived it. Mm. I don't know why. It used to have the moments that something is not right. Every time it used to be inside, outside, telling me that something is not right. Even though it looks wow outside. But deep down, it just told me. And I was get As every year was passing by, something was losing in me. Mm. But I, I couldn't have the courage. I guess that's sad. That's sad because a society does not give that courage. The marriage is beautiful. It's the it's the most um, it completes the person. Mm. Take it to be man, take it to be woman. It completes the person. But sadly, it's it's brutal. Mm. Hmm. And it's just being told to the woman that it's okay. But it's not okay. It's not. Hmm. It's never okay. And it's and it's going far beyond that. Hmm. Girls just die, you know, giving their life and nobody take care recognizes it also. Hmm. And it's sad. Hmm. Why beautiful souls should die like that? Hmm. What, what, what was your experience like? My experience was... Uh, mm, miserable. Hmm. Heartbreaking. And, but I couldn't get the strength because the society is such which tells you that it's okay, men are like that. You can and cope. sad, yes. Hmm. And sadly, uh, it's it's in all the societies. I used to think that it's in only in with Indians, but for, unfortunately, it's with all the societies. Mm. That women are taken just. You're told to just you can just do this. Whatever you, can, yeah. you, you know, it's so hard because uh, women do so much. Mm. We're competing just the way men are outside then men get to come home and throw his tantrum throw himself but women can't mm. she's a wife she is a daughter-in-law she's a then she becomes a mother then she comes becomes a aunt she becomes everything and she has to just take care mm. she has to just absorb all that Hmm. And probably that's what I did. So at what point did you realize, like, I can't there take this? A lot of too. points, hmm. you know. Though it's it's you know when something is not right, it's not right from the beginning. Hmm. But we uh, we are brought up as women. We are brought up so uh, smartly. <laughs> I would say, wow, that we face it. We the way we cover we it up. cover it up the way we, we, hmm. the way we, the uh, the way uh, the actresses or the you know in the film industry you make up and you become different. Mm. Women's do their marriage life like that. They cover it up. Yes. So and in front of people is looking oh, yes. great, but inside you're dying. Yes, and it's it's with everybody. But mine was horrible. Mm. Mine was horrible. Take it to be my first year of the marriage. Take it to be the nineteenth year. Years. Yes, mm. it was horrible. Oh my god! But I couldn't. I um, I couldn't have the strength, and I was quiet. But when I had this split forehead open, that was just gave me a shock, and I was like, "You wake up. That's it." What was that thing that woke you up? My split forehead open. 
I had, I just, it was, it was a pen. He hit me in the kitchen and, and that was it. Oh my goodness, I was like pregnant. literally. Yes. Uh, but yeah, so that was, an, that was a quote for me. But still, I was 20 weeks pregnant. Oh. So I was bleeding, I was devastated. I had, but you know, it was, uh, and I was shocked by myself that I was amazed to get up, gather myself, go to this hospital and get myself fixed up. Hmm. Because that was my instant, you know, uh, reaction that I don't have to die like this. Wow. So I just said, no, it's not happening. But what happened to your baby? He's okay. Thankfully, no, yes, he's okay. That's what we don't realize it. And I, I had nobody. I had nobody. But we all, we all look up to God. Mm. Then why don't we believe in Him? Mm. Mm. He gives us the power to become a woman, to become a mother. Mm. To bear everything what we go through, and we still stand strong. You know, my husband. I remember not even a single. Uh, I never say that I had an intimate time with him because it was always used to be that he had this thing to, you know, break me all the time. Take it to be on the bed, take it to be personally, take it to be emotionally, take it to be physically, take it to be anyhow. Hmm. Hmm. But I didn't. That because that was inside me, I could And I was just suppressing myself. No, I'm a wife. No, I'm... Uh, you can do yeah. this. Yes. You change. Yeah. You know, that's what the society tells you. But sadly, it's not right. So now that you had that boldness to then move, what has life been like since then? Oh wow, I hold it. I the way I just said earlier, that grab the light. What light did you see? Believe me, organization. They just hold it me, and oh. that's the reason that it is there. Before I, I was devastated. I did not know, but before I could. You know, stand up. I was I was shown hmm. that this is what you're worth it. Hmm. So you joined so, the what did you call the name of the organization? Believe me. Believe me. So yes. you had to it's go to believe me with yes. an organization that yes. helps women. Yes. Okay, and then it was why it's you were an there. organization which just shows the light to the woman. Oh. It's wonderful. Hmm. Hmm. I guess every woman suffers in every way. Hmm. It's just the, it's the just different, it's different, different faces, different, women, yeah. different faces. Mm -hmm. I would not say different degrees, but different faces. Mm. But you should never ignore it. And as I said, grab it. Mm. God is there for everybody. Mm. You're not wrong. It's okay. And I just, I don't believe it in the first beginning because my, my trust was shattered. Mm. I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe that I'm... What am I doing that? You know, just these thoughts come, come, to, come you. to you. It's mm. very natural. But I said, but but I said, no, I have to take this leap of faith. And the day I took that leap of faith, it's, I can see the light. Mm. Wow. I'm just blessed that I have that organization with me in my hand you. to support me, to hold me. And that's about it. And, and I'm gr really glad that, you know, there can be thousands around you who doesn't want to grow up, who doesn't want to stand up. Mm. But God always gives you one. And that's how you get connected. I'm really grateful that I am connected to my lawyer, Anjana Bhatia. Then comes the publisher of the book, Exponent Pr Prints. Then, yes, Laura and Eve. Oh, no, no, yes. mm. Wonderful that I met you. <laughs> so, you know, the connection keeps going on. Yeah. And then you keep growing up. 
So, so one thing I, I, I take from that is when you see the light, when you see that and say, yes. you know what, where you are at is not the best place for you. Yes. And you step into the right kind of circle, right kind of connection. You begin to make the right decisions yes. that will push you into yes. the power that you already carry. Because I believe that like, even before writing this yes. book, you're already a cook. Yes. You already love to cook. But it didn't occur to you Never. that you could actually impact yes. with your cooking. And I could... You know, I could stand that I'm worth it mm. because there was so much negativity. Yeah. And I couldn't help it. Every day, every meal, because he used to, uh, he made sure that I am cooking. Even when after the cesareans and I'm sick, I am cooking. Must cook. Wow. I'm cooking and I'm there standing for six hours, eight hours, even with after my fourth cesarean. I was standing there for eight hours in the kitchen. Cooking for who? For that. <laughs> for my husband. Why do you have to cook so much though? For what? Because, because he had problems. Because he knew that I am very good. At cooking? Yes. And so you con con constantly cook? No, and he had problems. Oh, you cannot do this. Oh, you cannot do that. Oh, this is never good enough. But he will, he will make sure that uh, all his friends are treated, his mm. business expats are treated, his partners are treated, there are families coming over, there are uh, his his relationships are coming over. And so you have to constantly yes. cook for all, all his guests. Yes. Wow. Yes. Well, I'm glad that at least you loved cooking. Yes. That was one thing that could have kept you through that experience. I was like, this is what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. Right? A woman, uh, when she's a mother, when she's a wife, uh, I couldn't have stepped out of the house. Ah, so you felt like that I didn't was want wanted to prove him in that. This is my uh, territory which God has given to me. Whether he accepts it or not, oh, no. it doesn't matter to me. Hmm. You know, there was this thing very clear. And that's what it used to agitate him. Oh. oh. How can she be? Wow. wow. And that's how he used to, he never used to leave a single, single uh, second to, you know, hurt to me. Wow. That must have been really hard. That must have been hard. So then how did you, you know, after getting into this community that has helped you, was that when you started to write this book? Yes, she helped me a lot. Oh. So, yes. How long did it take you for you to come up with this? Okay, it was uh, five, five to six months. Oh, five to six months. Yeah. Before I could realize it, um, she made sure that it's out. Oh, wow. It's out. So, because, <laughs> so because that you don't say no. It was something, uh, you know, something you, you worth it. As you said, that you knew that you're good at it. Mm -hmm. So. You, but you never had the courage. So courage to step out. Step out. I couldn't. Ah. I couldn't, because be when you're a, when you're a wife, it's still you know a woman is still have some strengths, but when you're a mother, it's different. Mm. And for a mother, you can't be an impulsive one. Mm. And so it's like a click that okay, this has to be done. So, but uh, I'm I'm glad that I took that leap of faith. Yeah. I'm blessed. I thank myself so much. I thank my God so much for that. Mm. And uh, you know, it's because because I take it as a blessing. Mm -hmm. I take it that I don't even realize it that what pains I've gone through, it's okay because I have to live. I have to see these. I have to meet such wonderful people, mm. I, who who of whom I know they're going to be there for life support you support you support just be there mm. i mean i am blessed that i'm with such positive energy wives. around you absolutely energy around so it's absolutely. wonderful mm. how are your kids though they're good awesome they're good I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you know you were able to step out take the step of faith yes. and come out of that so yes. that you know I, i'm glad that you didn't end up you know like many no. women who yes. did just losing their life for no reason no, like they don't have to but that's why i said i'm okay with the podcast because i want you to come out because there are people and i want to request everybody there are people there 
there are the, well, you know God is not hard mm. he listens you just have to believe in our prayers and when he shows you the light just grab it just hold on to it I know it's very difficult to trust it because there's no trust in the kind of situations that I have been or probably others have been in different kind of situation mm. where the trust goes zero I understand but you have to take that leap of faith mm. and you have to believe in uh, in the creation it comes to you mm. it definitely comes to you wow. it's okay to go forward and reach to people nothing will really happen I'm not saying that it's easy but hard is a blessing hmm. Hmm. Heart is a blessing. Right now, you are still recovering yes. from all of what you've been through. But what is one thing that you would leave with any woman? Your who... past will never leave you. Hmm. But your past should never haunt you. Hmm. Hmm. So that's what I go on. It cannot leave you because that was your past. Yeah. But it's okay if it happens. But and don't you let just, it haunt you. Yes. Don't let it haunt you. It's just how you go ahead with life. Mm. Mm. And everybody's got the right to live positively. We all have positivity in us. In us, so we just need to tap into yes. this and yes. let it out. Thank you so much, Lobna, for being here. Guys, yes, this is Lobna's <laughs> this is Lobna's book called Lobna's Kitchen, where she has chronicled some of her recipes. Yes. Uh, most of the cuisines here are Indian cuisine, yes. yeah? Uh, yes. So Quite you can good. see, beautiful, easy to read, easy to access. You see the um, ingredients and you're able to try out these. Yes. So you can grab a copy of this cookbook, especially if you don't know how to cook. <laughs> Or you want to try new cuisines, right? Yes. And you want to know how to prepare Indian food. If you're not an Indian that you're watching this, then you want to get this. It's available on Amazon now, right? Is it no, not yet. No. Or no. no. Okay, so if you just forward you the uh, uh, the link. Okay, so if you're in UAE, it's available on noon, so you can just make an order and it will be sent over to you. So I need you to please support Lobna by getting a copy of this. How much does it go for? 39 40 there so that's a that's like it's not even up to the price of a pizza box right 40 dirhams for a copy you can get one for yourself i can get one or two for other people that you can share you can make this a gift you know and send it to somebody who needs to practice their culinary skills thank you so much lovely thank for you. being bold and courageous enough to walk out when you needed to walk out and then to yes. share your story because I believe that people are going to watch this now and they will be inspired to you know you know come out and not just be silent because I mean recently in Nigeria um, a, a very popular uh, musician but popular you know Christian singer just lost her life to you know domestic violence and that uh, is really yes, sad it's really sad, sad. so um, I'm happy that you're out and you know speaking out and so the sad part is those miseries people just finish yeah you die and, and that's you're it forgotten yes yes so that's what what's what's now the point what's the what's point, what's the point? You, yes. you're a woman you stand up yeah you yeah. you built life you know absolutely you don't build you don't build the the worldly way yes build souls so when you build souls why your soul should be forgotten mm. that's what i felt and i'm like okay i no, couldn't you can't continue I like you can't yeah. lose lose, lose yes, your story but I'm, I'm, i couldn't disgrace disgrace myself a lot mm. i've had enough i'm happy for you and Thank I look, you. I look forward to the amazing things that you are going to do, yes. to the amazing lives that you are going to impact, to the other women that you are going to yes. empower. Because even this yes. is an empowerment tool. Because yes. some women who cannot some cook women, right now, yes. yes, they're able to step out and then learn to cook, but also getting inspiration 
from Lobna's story here. Thank you so Thank much you. for being here. Thank All right, guys, this is where we draw the curtain on this particular episode. If you're watching this for the first time, if you're here for the first time at the Afrocentrist podcast, please do well to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notification so that you are notified when we have a new episode up. We have several segments on the Afrocentrist podcast because here is where we podcast with a difference. So we have Business Monday, Discovery Tuesdays, The Woman, Her Story, Her Impact on Wednesdays. We have Thursday live sessions and we have fun Fridays. So any of the segment that catches your fancy, please plug in, listen, watch whatever works for you and join us again next week as we come up with another story of another woman sharing her story and how she's impacting her world. I am your host, The Energetic EJ, and I say have a wonderful week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.